Low level or high level? Every conversation you go gonna have is gonna be low level or high level. When you watch somebody's podcast, at the end of the day, you gotta ask yourself, was this low level? Does it add any value to my future, my plans, my power, my rulership, my control, my mind, my family, my time, my order, anything? It's low level if it didn't. Man, it's just improved me, gave me frequency, education. You understand me? Make me stand up as a better man or woman. Now I can move through this world with a whole nother frequency and vibration and take that rulership and be in complete disruption. I ain't even gotta just work, I can create my own bit. I might fire my boss after this, you understand me? I'm closer to my vision and my power. Every single second I tap into this, that was high level. <laughs> Cali, what part? They got a yeah, big Cali, South Central, South Central? Yeah, come on, now. Right Man, what, what got you out here? What got you out here today? Money making mindset, being an entrepreneur, want to be my own. A lot of you all are looking for the keys right now. You be stressing it. You always looking outside yourself, but you never go into that internal place and spark light from the darkness to find who you are, to navigate through the world with all that resolution of power within your mind. See, I always have to start with the mind and always say 80% mindset, 20% skill set. If you have the right mindset, you can master any skill set. I just be on IG, social media, scrolling all day. The algorithm just caught you. Looking at a bunch of things that have zero to do with your goals, your ideas, your future, your plans, your strategy, or your vision. So now you're controlled by social media. Now, everything that we inherited within this world comes with a social contract. It tells us what to do, how to do it, when to do it. We get laws that are centralized, made by the Constitution, ruled by lawmakers, enforced by judges and police officers. But there was a time where the people get to choose the laws in which they want to govern them in their communities. Did you all get that choice? No. I looked at decentralization and a lot of these things now, they're not even really decentralized. If the white boys figure it out, if we go in there and own it, then we can manage it for everybody else. And we actually get to have control. But we do a lot of times is, we wait till it's built out and become consumers. And what I want people to start thinking of is the future. Because when we talk about recessions, we don't actually want to think about recession. We don't actually want to wait for a recession to hit or happen. We want to be up all the time. That just because the country goes through a recession don't mean you have to. But listen up. The point of this conversation is to try to steer you in the direction of thinking about the future. You understand me? In all areas of your life so that you can be more efficient. The smart people created the, the cell phones, the DAOs, the blockchain, the cryptos, the Apple phone. You didn't need to figure out how to program the technology, create the chips, and put it all together. So now it's about creative work. How you utilize the technology. How many people in here have a business, a service, or a product? There's a lot of entrepreneurs in here. How many people have utilized NFTs to sell a product or the blockchain? I have. Because I looked at it simple. I didn't want to continue to buy cryptocurrency, I wanted to earn crypto. So, my brother Slice said it once before that, you know, you don't buy dollars, you earn dollars, you earn money. So if I consider this to be money, let me figure out a way to start earning. And if I got me a product, all I gotta do is take a picture of that product, put it on the blockchain, somebody buy that product, then I figure out a way to get that product to them and they pay me in cryptocurrency. To me, that was a simple way of looking at NFTs as a payment process. But when you start looking at the news and you're looking at the pictures and you get caught up in that and it seems too difficult to you because most of us have learning disabilities in here and we don't realize it. 
because we went through a miseducation system that doesn't teach us how to interact with things so that we actually learn how to learn. So therefore, when we interact with new opportunities and it get hard, we say, no, this ain't full, this is a scam, this is a fraud. We start demeaning the opportunities that can put us in better places. Because we're not confident in our ability to learn new concepts and new ideas. And I don't really see us getting to where we want to go. You understand me as a people, just through motivation. I can yell at you all day, get your hype, like, dang, man, you made me feel good. And you leave with the same network. Decrease because time costs money. I can inspire you, show you how I did it, but then you still don't know how to do it. You need the education. Then some of you all get the education, get in the courses. You see some people learn it like, how come my results don't look like this? Well, because your mind on the inside don't look like this. You're in the same course, but you don't have the same way of thinking. When I see people that are early adopters, those are the revolutionaries. They jump into a field, you say, crypto, blockchain, that's going to change something. I'm there. They put their money where their mind is. They want to see where the opportunity is at because they realize that they did not afford to miss out on it. And everybody is comfortable with their business models now. They make thousands, I'm making a hundred thousand, I'm making a million. I ain't got to jump into the new thing. But why you think the billionaires are? They throwing billions and billions of dollars into the metaverse and blockchain and Web3 into the future iteration of the internet. Because Web3 just talks about how the internet is being used. When Web1 came out, it was basically just picture. The internet was, you know, you go on there and you see a crack. It was nothing you could do. It was read on. Web 2 came, now we got apps and social media, now we can interact with it, right? We can communicate with each other on it, we can post content. And Web 3 is basically saying that now you get to own your own data without actually having to utilize the middleman, like Instagram. And so now we're going to decentralize apps where you can create your own tokens and they connect it to, you know, valuable items that you can utilize. Ask yourself, was it low-level conversation or was it one of them 19 keys high-level conversations? Big time dangerous. I'm 19 keys and this is high-level conversation. Tap in with the guy.